Hey, what's up, guys? Today we have been specially invited to the Navida Play the Future special private event, and we're gonna check out some of the virtual reality experience that they've come up with uh, in partnership with Oculus Drift and the HTC Vive. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna head to the event, and we're gonna check it out. So guys, the NVIDIA Play the Future event is over and right now I'm here to give my verdict on the virtual reality experience that I experienced at the event. Now NVIDIA has done a really good job, they've brought us there, they fed us and, and, and now uh, and then brought us to experience the gaming uh, technology that they have. Uh, basically there were two uh, headsets that I experienced at the event which is the Oculus Rift as well as the HTC Vive. Um, so let's start off with the Oculus Rift first. Uh, it is pretty basic. I, I, I experienced basic console gaming. Uh, well, it's not console gaming, but I game with a controller on the Oculus Rift. And I can tell you uh, the experience was slightly better than my ShineCon headset because Oculus have their own um, uh, screen on the headset and the resolution is slightly better. However, I could still feel that at the edges, the rounded edges, that you experience a bit of a blurness and the resolution isn't that great. Um, it is slightly better than uh, my uh, ShineCon headset, uh, but I would say it isn't uh, the best that I experienced um, uh, before. Uh, so then moving on, I experienced the HTC Vive headset. It brought me to a dark room, put on the headset. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot show you any video footage. Uh, these are unreleased products and I, I can't take any videos. I wasn't allowed, but I'm showing you as much footage as I can. Uh, they do allow me to take pictures. So I'm going to show you a, a couple of pictures here. Absolutely amazing experience with the HTC Vive. Uh, it is um, uh, one of the next uh, generation gaming experience that I have. Any one of you remember the Nintendo Wii where you have the Nunchaku style uh, controllers? That's exactly what I ex experienced the Nintendo Wii. I thought it was a really interesting concept uh, to use the Nunchakus but you're always uh, afraid to break the TV. Remember that time? Okay, the bad thing about the Nintendo is they don't focus much about the graphics but more on the gameplay and, and the Nanchaku gameplay was really, really interesting at that time. But the graphics isn't that good. So right now, NVIDIA and HTC have combined both, right, to give you absolutely brilliant graphics with virtual reality experience. And the gameplay is sort of using the Nanchaku style controller. Uh, I experienced you'll be, you be able to draw in 3D, you know, you'll be able to be a surgeon. Uh, operate on people, you can be a mechanic, uh, a person who fix the robots. It's really really cool and alright that's that's the gameplay. It's it's interesting right and second the graphics is absolutely phenomenal. It's, 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 it's not like any headsets that I've experienced right. Uh, all the edges are clear. Any pixel I see in the screen is clear itself. There isn't any blur or, or pixelation that I see on the image and the, pow the power is in the GPU that NVIDIA provides. Uh, I played with the HTC Vive just using a 980 Ti on the headset, right? And it's already very, very good. They already have technology where you can SLI on your VR headset. You can have two GPUs powering your headset one GPU for each lens and I can tell you the, 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 the graphics that you're going to experience is going to be much much more amazing 
uh, compared to uh, the current headsets that are on the market they use your phone so imagine this one GPU powering one lens the other GPU powering the other lens and we, we never even got to that stage when I was there we were just using a 1980 Ti on uh, the Vive headset the experience has been absolutely awesome the graphics is amazing the gameplay um, with the nunchucks I can't wait for for, for for this to happen for them to launch it next year and see what they got of course be prepared uh, to pay some money uh, for the uh, con new controller style nunchuck controller style as well as the headset but overall uh, the HTC Vive is nothing that I've ever experienced uh, it sort of puts you in that virtual reality space all round it's all clear it's not pixelated at all it's almost the screen is surrounding you entirely and and I can tell you this is gonna be a big hit I am very very uh, pleased to have gone to this event thank you Nvidia for um, letting me win the contest that's my first experience with the HTC Vive um, I hope you guys uh, do check out the product when it's launched I do hope to have a hands-on a good hands-on review once the product is launched uh, very excited about the vibe. I may get it in the future. Um, but with that, I'm going to end the video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next video. This is Paul here, aka Paula Busa, signing off. See you. Bye.